I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm delighted again to be joined by John Edwardson. John, like I said to, to you before I push record there, last time I spoke to you was when you went 3-0 and at the Echo Arena a couple yeah. of months back. Uh, you're back out again at the Olympia. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. And, um, I, I just like want to be out as much as possible. So this is going to be four fighting eight months. So which it's, I'm still only like new to the professional game way, so I'm happy just to stay active as possible. Are you, are you, obviously, when young fight, well, young fighters, I know you turned professional relatively late in, in, in life there, but you might, you might, is that you and the dog? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right, man. Yeah. You turned professional relatively late in your 30s, but we'll touch on that later on, but you're 4-0, is there, are you still, are you still got that excitement? Are you getting a little bit of burnout? How are you feeling? I feel like the best I've ever felt. Like I feel like each time I'm getting better, I'm getting I'm getting better and better. Like if it's for this camp, I've done about sixty rounds of sparring with Jaja, and like it's brought me on loads. And then like I've done um last week, I have done fourteen rounds of Brian Phillips. He's fighting for an area title at at my own weight, and I'm feeling like I'm improving every time. You know what I mean? So like I, I was I was ready for the I was getting a bit of a step up on this fight, but. The kids pulled out now, so I've got like someone else. Like the, the kid that was going to box was going to be six. I'd won three, lost three, but coming off the back of two wins, but um, something's happened now. I've um, got to box some someone else. I'm not sure who it is. Like that's it. This this stage in your career, these three four nos, a, a young a fighter coming through who's just yeah. Well, they, they get these fighters, don't they? You, you you get these pull outs and get these fighters in, so. Hopefully, coming in 2023, you get these big step-ups and these names that are going to test you, so to speak. Yeah, I wanted the six-rounder because um, I've, I've been a spa like 10, 12 rounds. I still feel all right after it, you know what I mean? Like, with the likes of Jazz, I think. I was like, we get in, we say we're still a little 10, 10 rounds. I was hoping 12 rounds. And then, um, like, but then he said that I can, well, Pro balance if you can get me on the show, but it's only going to be a four round, four round there. But which you'd obviously snap the hand off because it's a massive show, don't you? Because mm. Jazz, was... Jazz is fighting for his world title as well, so I'm guessing you'd yeah. like to be, be on that That's... show anyway. I'll be there and I can go in the back and all that, then can I? That's yeah. what I mean. Like, I was meant to be fighting like last week in um, Height and Leisure Center on a six round, but lucky Jazz got me on this one. But lucky you took that one because that show fell through in the end, didn't it? So, mm. good stuff. I, I, I've, 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 um, I'm on this one now, which I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for. You mentioned the six rounder. Now, obviously, you, you've gone a distance. You've done four rounds with your last three opponents there. Um, yeah. every, every, you can say it, but every fighter loves a stoppage. Every every fighter loves yeah. a knockout win. And I'm guessing you'll be the same. So when you start getting to these six rounders, are you going to stop? Do you need the six to, six rounders, eight rounds to break your... Is four rounders, four rounds too short for you? Do you need the six, eight rounders to break your opponents down? Yeah, I think so, because every, every fight I've had, like, it seems like in the fourth round, like, I'm starting to be on top of them now, you know what I mean? So, another thing, oh, I've had another round there, maybe I would have got them out, but, like, I think I'll get better as I move up move up the rounds, because, like, I'm quite fit and I can grind, pe grind people out. I mean, like, I, I touched on it there that, obviously, you turned pro at, what, 32, 33? Yes, um, well, fair from first fight when I was 33. <laughs> then so it's crazy, like, isn't it? <laughs> what was the so what was the what was the gap between fighting as an amateur and then turning pro? What was that gap? Um I think 2013 I had my last fight and then I I, I, I stuck around the gyms and like yeah. did, I just thought like just messed like didn't like do nothing say I, I still like used to push myself every day in training because I, I I love training, but like I thought um I was out of the game, and then obviously Jazz has got me back into it, hasn't he? Yeah, like, man. why don't you why don't you have a little go um, before like you, it gets too late? So, but you know what? I'm still like sparring people. I'm still doing good, and but why not? Might as well give it a little go. 
Well, listen, if I was you, if I was seven, I'm 40, so if I was a little bit younger, maybe I would have yeah. gave it a go because my last competitive fight was probably 2005. So it's yeah. <laughs> I've got no chance now. But anyway, like I was going to say, why did you do it at 33? But obviously, you said that Jazza just basically came up to you and said, "Listen, get yeah. back track before it's too late." Yeah, well, well he said, "Don't you fancy coming down for a spa with me?" So I'll come round. But like at the time, I was only fit enough to do a two minute round, so. Got down, we had the spa, and he went, what, do you fancy again tomorrow? And the next thing he was doing, he went, why don't you say it? Because Jazz said, like, he sh- obviously he must have sort of seen, like, I was still, like, was all right, you know, it wasn't, like, I was holding my own, you know what I mean? And he went, like, you should, like, I, st- I still think you're good enough, you still, you still should get in to see where it takes it and, and what you can get out of it. And so, wait, wait, listen, get, get, get out. A bit as much as you can. So that being said, what do you want out of it? Uh, I I want some sort of like title, like if I can, even if I can get an area title, any like any sort of title. Like as I I dedicate myself every day anyway, like training. I'm always round about my weight, and like I train hard every single day. So my my next fight finishes, I start training again. But like it seems like I'm getting better and better with each camp. But I would like I'd like to hopefully get, like, a, a, a nice title fight out of it in the end, like, if that, you know, that that's me aim, like, so don't walk away with nothing, because, like, I don't want to, like, just fight journeyman just for the sake of fighting, because it's all right for my first, first year laying on fights just mm-hmm. to get me back, back used to it, but if where they offered me this kid, I said straight away, yeah, because... If I can't beat him, then what am I actually doing it for? You know what I mean? The dog wants, well, it sounds like the dog wants to fight with you anyway. I know, the dog, he's always, he's always had it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to, let's touch on Jazza then. I mean, he, he's had a crack at two world titles uh, in, at the, I think it was the WBA and in IBF there with uh, Kid Galhad and uh, Guillermo Rigondo. So this is going to be third time lucky against uh, this opponent on next Saturday. What do you yeah. think? How do you think Ch- uh, Jazz's chances are? I think he's got to win 100%. Mm. Right? I sparred loads of them and watched him sparring that. Like, he's like so technical and so like, he, and he can bang as well. He's just so hard to win. I just don't see how, how he... I, I thought, thought that against the kid girl had to fight. I didn't see how, how he was going to lose, you know what I mean? But mm. some things on the night probably didn't go his way, did he? So, like... Mm. Off faith in him, I reckon 100% he's going to walk away with the title this time round. Well, I'll be, I'll be there. I'm coming down to Liverpool on Thursday next week, so I'll be there. So I'll, I'll see you in and around the hotel fight week if you're, if you're there or there. Yeah. So I'll get a chat yeah. with you and yeah. I'll get a chat with Jazza. But I want to just touch on a little thing. Obviously, you, you're a boxing fan as well, so I'm guessing you yeah. you, you were aware of the news where you saw the news of Conor yeah. Benchfield, uh drugs test and... I just want to get your 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 thoughts on it and your initial reaction when you heard the news. Um, I was just um, I was just looking forward to the fight. I was dev- I was devastated like it was off because that was everyone Saturday night planned mm. out, wasn't it? Like because everyone was that's like one of the biggest fights in a long time, like in it, like last few months, and people were like I was looking forward to the fight, but they couldn't probably couldn't sanction it to go ahead because if they sanction it for one person, then everyone else like. It just it just says you can use drugs in the sport, then doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, as you said, it's, it's it's like you mentioned there. It's, it's disappointing because it was an exciting fight to yeah to, to watch, and I was looking forward to it being at my age, and that I can remember the dad's fight and well, not the first fight, the second fight, and I was looking forward to that Ben Eubank name getting there, just being in the ring together again, even if it is their son. So, but listen, we, the facts are all the facts ain't out yet, and it's again, it's a t- sticky situation that me and you don't know much about. So, but we, you know, just going. What, what we've heard, aren't we? So, yeah, we're just gonna hear what we've heard, but uh, yeah, listen, like I said to you, John, there, I'll be down in Liverpool on Thursday next week, so I'll be there yeah. watching you what, for your fight. So, um, I'll get another crack crack with you, we'll, we'll do it on a proper microphone instead of these, yeah. videos. but like, listen, coming into the fight week, man, enjoy it, and I'll catch up with you next week. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Thanks, cheers, see you, yeah, mate. See you soon, mate. Bye-bye. bye bye. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.